How are you? I feel like it's been a minute since we've gotten together. So, you know, I really suck at story time. So I figured if we just do like a little chit chat, like catch up, how am I doing? How are you doing? What's going on? That will kind of take some of the pressure off. So if you see me looking over to the side, it's because I'm looking at my mirror while I attempt to make this face look a little, a little more decent. So um, I'm not going anywhere today. Probably, if anything, I'll probably just run an errand or two. So I'm really just going to do light makeup. I'm not a makeup artist. You know that I'm not a makeup YouTuber. You know that I'm literally just doing something while I talk to you. That's it. That's it. So how are you? By the way, I did already apply a little bit of primer. I'm not going to do a full face like foundation or anything. I very rarely do that. Probably like once every few months if that i wear foundation so i put a little bit of my favorite primer at the moment power grip primer by elf i put that under my eyes because i am going to be putting some concealer so i did do that i did also use my nyx brow glue on my eyebrows so just so you know so if you don't see me put any primer on that's why don't come for me okay i did it i did it so how are you as you may or may not notice, my locks look a little different. It's because I randomly decided, you know what, let me comb out some of my locks. And um, I'm not sure how I feel about that just yet because I definitely stunted my progress. Like I had to cut some of my locks just because the ends were like straight or they were braided at the end. So I literally had to like cut above that section and then comb out, which with me combing out, I lost hair, of course, you know, all the shed hair or whatever. So I combed out above that section. And then also because when you comb your locks out, you know, you get that curl or that coil, my hair is naturally coily. Um, so it curled up, you know, the shrinkage is still there. The lock is going to hold it down when you comb out the ends the shrinkage is going to bring it up so i don't know i don't know how i feel about it but i just feel like it's a lot going on in my head right now now mind you i had that idea to comb out my locks as i was combing it out and i probably combed out like 15 or 20 i'm like you know what i don't know if i like this so i stopped so in addition to that i have some ends that are combed out and some ends that are fully locked and formed so there's that so I just wanted to throw that out there. Let's get into it though, because if you've seen one of my other, I probably have like two because I suck at them. If you've seen any of my other like chit chat or get ready with me videos, you'll know that I legit just like stop and talk to you and don't get ready. So we're going to fix that. We're going to change that. I'm really hoping that you can't hear my loud ass neighbors outside. They just let their kids run amok. The audacity to let kids be kids, right? <laughs> I'm filming on my old school camera that does not have autofocus, so I am so sorry if these things are not in focus, but this is the hydrating camo concealer. Now I also love the other one, I think it's like the 24 hour concealer. So I go back and forth between them. I don't see that much of a difference with, um, they are so damn loud. I don't see that much of a difference between the concealers, but mind you, I very rarely do a full face and I don't like a totally matte look. So I think that the girls that do will notice a difference, but for me, like as long as my under eyes look a little more decent, I'm good. So, yeah. In other news, what else is going on? So are you going to the Renaissance tour? Are you foregoing mortgage to go to the Renaissance tour? <laughs> I'm really on the fence about it. I was blessed with the opportunity in 2018 to see Beyonce um, in concert. Well, it was the On The Run 2 tour with Jay-Z. So it was Beyonce and Jay-Z, but Beyonce. Um, and when I tell you it was totally an act of God, because first of all, I won tickets, blessing, but I won them by listening to the radio, which I never do. I never listen to the radio. I always have on some type of app or something playing from my phone into my car so the first the fact that I was watching or listening to the radio that day and the fact that I was listening to a radio station that I normally would not have even listened to even if I did did listen to the radio I just randomly like put on the radio was listening to this you know random radio station and heard they asked a question of course I don't remember what the question is but they asked a question that I obviously knew the answer to I called in with a correct answer i was on air but you know i'm thrilled i'm like uh, i don't think i flopped you know i answered their question you know i talked to them for a little bit but i won the tickets so i say all that to say i have been blessed with the opportunity to see beyonce in concert probably one of the best concerts that i have gone to in my entire 
life, my entire life. My husband and I are big music heads. We are big concert enthusiasts. We probably go to probably between five to 10 concerts a year. I don't even know if that's an accurate number, but we've gone to a lot of concerts together. So when I tell you like in my entire life, that's, that's a lot of people that I'm including in that bucket of concerts that I've seen. So keep that in mind. She is a phenomenal performer. I was just the entire time I was on cloud nine. He loved it too. He said the same thing. And it was just like, is she human? Is she real? Like perfect. It was just a phenomenal experience. It was just like an out of body experience. And I was just so happy that I got to experience that. And I was very happy that I got to experience that for the free. <laughs> like what? So I say all that to say, yes, I know that it's going to be a phenomenal show. I don't doubt that at all. But the way that I'm really trying to get my finances in order, not necessarily just like budgeting and everything, that's something that we have to work on, but budgeting, investing, saving, and owning. Like I wanna own more. I wanna own more property. I wanna invest in property. I'm really, I know generational wealth is something that people are really throwing around like, oh, generational wealth, blah, blah, blah. No, I'm serious about it. But I just need more money <laughs> to do more with my money. You know what I mean? So with that being said, it's almost like, am I really going to risk all of that just for the sake of saying that I went, you know? I'm just kind of weighing my priorities and right now I'm kind of teetering on the side of, I think I'd rather save and invest and put that money elsewhere. As much as it pains me to say as a black woman. Um, yeah, now I will say, um, before the, the tour um, got, you know, information was released about the tour, it was rumored that she was going on tour with Thames. This is my Sephora Micro Smooth. This, this has been in my arsenal for years, like probably about five years, if not longer. Um, and I'm just setting my under eye with this and then I'll go in with the other setting powder as well. It was rumored that Beyonce was going on tour with Thames and I haven't heard anybody like anyone who has gained access, I should have asked my husband because I know he gained access to the Tampa and the Atlanta show and asked me did I want to go and I was like, uh, uh, let's, let's pass for now, gulp. But I haven't heard anyone mention that she is in fact touring with Thames. Have you heard that? Like if she is touring with Thames, that might change my perspective completely. That might, that might. I know that sounds crazy, but again, keep in mind, I've seen Beyonce, so I've gotten to experience that. Yes, I would love to experience again, experience that again, but I'm really, I wanna see some new people too, and I'm really on Thames right now. I'm really on Thames, I'm really on Masego, I'm really on Sir, I'm really just in that kind of vibe. So if Thames is going on tour with Beyonce, I might have to reconsider. So let me know if you've heard of that, like let me know. Now I'm going in with the Range Beauty Smooth Out Translucent Setting Powder just to put on top of that on a random day when I'm putting up makeup and may not even leave my house. But yes, please let me know if you have this one little curl. Please let me know if you have heard of Beyonce going on tour with Thames because I would be devastated if I missed that. Like if I missed Thames, I would be devastated, okay? But yeah, maybe I should seriously look into that because that's one artist that I don't want to miss the opportunity to see or or if anyone is toying with her I don't even know is it just B I mean with an artist of her caliber she don't need nobody on tour with her but I know she's also the type of artist that's going to bring somebody on she's going to put the team on so what have you heard this is a Merit um, blush that I'm using now. It's in the shade Mood, which I think is definitely too, too berry for the look that I'm going for today, but I really just like the texture. I really need to invest in another like liquid blush or like this type of consistency. I know that a lot of people are really on the Rare Beauty one right now, but I don't know. Maybe I was looking at the wrong size, but it just looked a little pricey for what I'm willing to spend on a liquid blush so because i am not going to be doing eyeshadow or anything like that who has time for eyeshadow so i'm going to come in and put it on my eyes as well you know just a little bit on my lids just bring that right up 
I actually learned this makeup tip by a TikToker by the name of Ayana and she is fighting for her life on TikTok right now. Not fighting for her life, but she is coming at the girls on TikTok right now as she should because there are a lot of white creators that are stealing her content and then they're getting credited for it or they're getting like publication for it and that's not cool. She's a professional makeup artist and legit everything that she recommends I get or I save because I see that her application is flawless. I see that her looks um, and her makeup always looks amazing. I think she is the same if not a similar complexion to me too. So if she recommends a shade, I'm like, all right, noted. Like I'm taking notes. And I just really hate to see that happening. It happens so much, especially on that app because they're just not for us there. They're really not for us there. So definitely wanted to credit her for what I just did. I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. highlighter. I don't know the name of this highlighter, but it's an e.l.f. highlighter. It's a golden color. I like that this gives me the shine without the glitter. I don't like glitter in my highlight. So again, just an everyday kind of natural look, but I want a little bit of shine. So what else is going on for me? I really need to get back into my fitness. And one of the reasons why it's been hard for me, you know what I struggled with, right? In one of my last videos where I was talking about my frustrations with working out and not seeing a difference and just like the changes that I was seeing in like my skin, my nails, where I had the white things and my nails were flexible and bendy. Um, there's not really an update on that. You know, my, my nails, I don't really notice the white stuff in them anymore. But I have also been doing like press-ons or I've been doing gels myself. I think that serves as a good protective barrier for my nails to help, you know, strengthen them or just kind of keep them protected, especially from elements like the water where they're just getting wet and dry then wet and dry and that's weakening them. So I think that that has kind of helped, but no real update in terms of my health, like as far as what's going on. You know, I've gone to the doctor, I've gone, I've gotten blood work done and they don't see any real issues unless I'm just completely like not vocalizing myself properly and certain things aren't being tested for so I don't know I just kind of dropped that and I I really just need to reshift my mindset to focus on not necessarily just weight loss but just overall health I live a very sedentary lifestyle I work from home and if I'm not working sometimes I'm just lounging on the couch or I'm laying in bed watching my Netflix show I um Especially like the past few weeks, I don't know what happened, but it's just like, I'm in a very weird like protective mode where it's like, you know what? I don't wanna to talk to nobody, nobody bother me. I just want to focus on me. And when I have me time, sometimes that just looks like me just like zoning out and like creating or writing or reading. I'm reading a really good book right now, a really good book. I would prefer not to share the name of the book just because um, the title is very triggering. I'm really just protecting like my space, my mental, t my mental um, health, my me time. I'm very protective of those things. And that doesn't always necessarily look like me being like, I should go for a walk. I should go to the gym. So I really need to incorporate that into me taking better care of myself. I'm not going to lie. Like you saw that video. I was really frustrated because I was working out like for two to three months straight and I lost no weight. So it's hard to go from that to get back into the mindset of like, okay, well, I gotta get back into it. You know, like it's hard to keep going when you don't see the progress that you're looking for or any progress at all. But again, I need to shift the conversation from weight loss to health and then just hope that the weight loss comes along with it. But I say all that to say that one of the things that I wanna start incorporating onto my channel is just um, looking for things that fit curvy tall voluptuous women i don't think that's something that i've necessarily talked about before but i am 5'10 so i'm tall i'm also i don't know if i would be considered mid-size or plus size i usually shift between a 14 and a 16 especially right now like i said i'm not really active so you know 14 to 16. it used to be like 12 14 you know closer to 14 but now it's definitely closer to 16. But whatever, I don't know what I would be considered mid plus. I'm definitely not average by American standards, right? But, um, you know, so I'm a curvy woman and I also have very big breasts. I am a tall, curvy woman and it's very hard for me to find things that fit me, whether it is just jeans, whether it's um, athletic wear, whether it's you, like just long pants or 
um, athleisure. I have a really hard time looking for that. And it's hard for me to put myself out there and work out, you know, if I have something that's not supportive or if I'm wearing something and I don't feel confident and cute. Like I deserve to have cute workout cl clothes. We deserve to have cute workout clothes that are cute and supportive and make us feel confident. You know what I mean? So that's definitely something that I struggle with. I definitely want to bring that onto my channel. I just really get leery about putting myself out there, like showing my whole body um, on YouTube. I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know why. Because I know there are like fashion bloggers, plus size fashion bloggers that will, you know, show their body. But that's a whole nother level of vulnerability that I don't know if I'm ready to penetrate that yet. I, I know it's needed because I really, really have a hard time finding people that look like me because it might be a curvy woman, but she might be short or she might have small breasts or she might have a small waist and big hips. I want to find someone and I want to help someone that looks like me, someone that is tall. I got a little bit of belly. I got hips. I got booty. I got breasts. I want to find things that fit me and I want to help you if you're someone that's struggling with that too or if you know someone that is it's really just me getting out of my head and putting myself out there so that's something that I am going to work on and I pray that I can bring that to the channel very very soon I just gotta do it because I got people to help right that's it that's it so I need to get better with that and getting my butt up to work out and get more active so that I really can be happier because I know all the stuff that I'm going through mentally, like my depression, my anxiety, working out is definitely not going to fix that. But me feeling this way and not being active, not moving, not sweating and getting out those toxins, not eating properly is not helping the way that I'm feeling either. So that's my promise to me. I am definitely going to be working on those things and you're gonna see me work on them. The other day I went to a parent teacher conference and I did not have on mascara and I was okay with that. I really liked the no mascara look. So I'm contemplating if I want to do that again today. It's probably the most subtle makeup that I've done. <laughs> like you can barely see. I am going to do a little bit of a wing but it's going to be a soft wing. So I'm not going to use a liquid liner. I'm just going to use um, an eyeliner pencil. This is Fenty Beauty. I'm using because I'm black, I'm just going to put like a little bit in the corner. Now, you know we gotta get into it, okay? Did you watch the Super Bowl performance? Rihanna? I don't know why some people are hating. I really try not to get into, um, I really try not to get into social media negativity. You know, like I'm not on Instagram because I don't like what it was doing for my mental health. Um, I really try to keep social media as entertaining and funny and that's it. When I see that it starts to get negative and too like judgy, I side off. So I don't know what people were complaining about as far as her performance or the fact that, you know, that's how she announced her pregnancy, which some people didn't realize it was an announcement, but was it an announcement? I don't know. I absolutely loved it. And the fact that she was pregnant and she did all of that choreography and she was able to perform and she was suspended in the air for a portion of her performance. When I was pregnant, both pregnancies, I was a marshmallow. A marshmallow. So I am team Rihanna regardless. Like always going to be team Rihanna and I am so proud of her and I'm happy for her and her family. I loved her on the cover of, was it Vogue? I loved her on the magazine cover that she had with her son and ASAP Rocky. I thought it was super cute and I am just so happy for her. I was so happy to see her uh, performance at the Super Bowl and the Fenty powder blot was just chef's kiss. That was genius. I just love it. I think that it was perfectly executed and I'm just, it was what I needed. It was what I needed. I know that the girls are looking for an album, but honey, just be happy that she gave us that and be happy that she's happy, period. Yeah, I did barely nothing. <laughs> makeup look I legit like yeah I'm happy I'm happy
I had fun chit chatting with you. I feel like there's so many more things that I want to talk to you about, but maybe I'll save that for the next video. I want to know how you're doing, what you're up to, what's on your mind. Shout out to Blessing. Thank you so much for asking me how I'm doing. That meant the world to me. And to be honest, it was that comment that really triggered me to come back and be like, I need to update my friends. I need to see how my boobs are doing. So thank you so much for checking on me. I'm definitely going to reply to your comment um, directly as well. But I just want to send you that love to everyone who's been checking on me, commenting, my new subscribers, everyone that recently started their lock journey too. Special shout out to you because it's just a really beautiful journey. And even though I'm here and there and everywhere, like with these decisions, like I want to comb out my ends or I want to interlock or I want to retwist. Oh my gosh. That's my next chit chat video. That's my next chit chat video. Ah! Okay, sorry. Even though I'm here, there and everywhere, I do not regret this decision at all. It was probably the best thing that I've done for the health of my hair, my scalp, for my lifestyle, just all around beautiful decision. And I'm so happy to be on this journey. And now I'm happy that you're on this journey too. So thank you for watching me chit chat. I look forward to hearing how you're doing. Comment below. Let me know what's up, how you're doing, what questions you have. I will definitely, definitely see you soon. I missed you and I love you.